Making money searching Google. This seems too easy. I mean, after all, Google's revenue is almost a quarter of a trillion dollars a year. And about nine billion of that is coming from people just like you. But how does all this work? Do you ever get frustrated with all the gurus that seemingly make money on demand without any work? And you wonder, what is the unfair advantage that they have that I don't? And after doing this business for over 23 years, I have a little bit of a confession to make. And that is, yes, it is emphatically true that I have had an unfair advantage in being able to make money online. And this is something that most people don't understand. And that unfair advantage has led to me making millions of dollars. Sometimes it was so easy, I had to pinch myself to know it was real. So today, I'm going to reveal that unfair advantage, talk to you about how AI has made it even easier, and how getting in on this trend with AI can put tons of money in your pocket. And it's actually very simple. And I'm going to show you step by step exactly how to make money using Google search. But first, a story. Back when I was first trying to make money online, Google was brand new. They actually got really popular in 1999 and the year 2000. And back then there were other search engines like Lycos, Hotbot, Yahoo, Webcrawler, AltaVista, and even Ask Jeeves. Do you remember Ask Jeeves? If you do, let me know in the comments below. And these search engines were basically categorizing the information that was available throughout the entire internet. They would have little crawlers that went around and looked at different websites and put the information online in an easy to understand manageable way. And most people just chalked this up as, hey, what a cool way to get info. And as time went on, we actually got our own phrases for it, like Googling something. When I want to know an answer, I Google it. If I want to find out a price on my garage door opener, I Google it. And Googling it became, well, part of daily life. Only there were a couple people who understood how to use the search engines, specifically Google, in a different way that allowed them to make tons of money. And in just a minute, I'm going to show you these Google hacks that'll help you search like a pro. And then I'm going to show you how they equate to making money using Google search. And I need you to understand that all searches are not created equal. While the vast majority of the population thinks that Googling things is some free service that is just out there to help them out. The fact of the matter is it's a multi trillion dollar business. So, if you're ready to learn my unfair advantage so that you can search Google in a way that's unparalleled by the 99.9% .9 of the population and in a way that can help you make money simply by searching Google, then smash a like button. Let's dive in the computer. I'm going to show you these hacks, how to use them, plus where AI comes in and how to put money in your pocket. Okay, so first what I wanted to do to get you some real world information based on what actually works is I wanted to take some of these videos that are touting you can make all kinds of money with Google and I put them through ChatGPT. Now, why would I do this? What I wanted to do is I wanted to figure out at a glance what these people are teaching and if it actually works. Now, the first video I went through was basically saying, find things people search for, make a Google Doc, turn it into a PDF, and distribute it on sites like SlideShare. And while this can work, we see that the top result that isn't actually people looking for SlideShare is Airbnb Pitch Deck, which ranks number one. And it looks like this person created some kind of pitch deck for pitching things to angel investors and different things to grow their new company which is good, but it looks like it's only getting about 1,100 people a month going to that page. So we're gonna have to do a little bit better. The next video I had transcribed and loaded into ChatGPT here was touted as a copy and paste super simple way to make money. 
And they're basically saying to go and write articles with AI, post them on article websites, and sell them to people looking for content. Which can work, but that's hardly getting paid for searching on Google. And the last one here was way off the mark. They were talking about using things like MindSumo and different challenges to get paid, which in order to get paid, you need to win the challenge. That's not exactly a way to consistently make money online. And then there was one talking about using Google search to turn it into some kind of app or tool and sell it as a software as a service, which I think in terms of coding and work and doability, this rules like 99% of the population out. And that was a simple recap of the methods that other people are teaching when it comes to Google search. Now, let's talk about my unfair advantage that's going to help you get paid online using the power of Google search. As I mentioned earlier, learning how to use Google was one of the crucial things that I needed to know in order to make money online. And now, 23 years after doing this and making millions of dollars, I see another shift with AI that is even bigger than the opportunity I've been using for the last 23 years. But first, let's talk about the little hacks that'll help you search on Google and ultimately help you make money. First of all, you can do things like quotes. If you didn't know, Searching for something like cost to replace garage door motor, if I was to search for this, I'm gonna get all different kinds of results. I might get people looking for the cost of elephants in Africa, and then also has an article about garage doors. So it doesn't have to be that exact phrase. However, if I was to put this in quotes, right like this, that is going to isolate the exact phrase, meaning that the websites that are going to show up need to have the phrase cost to replace garage door motor exactly in that order. And this is going to give us a much more detailed search result based on what we want. As we can see here, there's actually only a couple of sites that have this exact phrase. Another little hack is using site colon. Let's say I wanted only results from a site like Reddit. I could type site colon reddit.com. Why is the sky blue? And this is going to search for pages on reddit.com that include why is the sky blue? Again, getting a much more detailed result. This is key in making money online. Or we could use the minus sign. Say you were looking for ways to make money. How to make money online minus blogging. And we could see here, again, these results are super specific. Narrowing down what we want is what's going to help us make more money with Google search and with AI. Next, we can use or. In our example here, how to make money online blogging or YouTube. This is gonna isolate both examples so we have results from both terms. We'll skip to some others and then I'll give you the full list at the end of this video. We can see here file type. Let's say we wanted how to make money blogging, file type, PDF. This is going to do a Google search for how to make money online blogging, only PDF results. So I can go here, click this one. As you can see, it's a PDF. The next one here, Again, you guessed it, a PDF. And on and on we go. We can see all the different PDFs that are online about a specific topic. Again, this is super important. Pay close attention. You can also search for older versions of web pages using the cache, related websites, like maybe related to Amazon.com, right like this. Search for movies, maps, weather, stocks, different results in a time frame, pages that link to a certain website, and on and on we go. And you might be asking, well, Marcus, this is all fine and good and I can search for cool stuff, but how is this going to make me any money? First, we need to understand exactly what big companies and search engines like Google actually do. And this might shock you, but Google has actually earned more than $1 trillion dollars doing, get this, categorizing the web's information. Wait a minute. So Google made over a trillion dollars just categorizing information online? 
Yes, exactly. And oftentimes, they get it wrong. Have you ever done a Google search and then only had to go back and do like 15 more searches to find what you're really looking for? Yeah, if you have, let me know in the comments below because oftentimes, like me, you can't find what you want on the first go around. So would it be safe to say that categorizing information is a huge, huge industry? And don't just take my word for it. If we were to look at some of the companies that have made over a trillion dollars, we can see Microsoft, Google, Amazon. And what do those companies have in common? Well, they all have a search engine. They all rely on categorizing information in a very simple way. One of them is a software giant. All right, so I wanted to interrupt myself for one quick second to show you two things that are gonna help you make lots of money, and they're free. Number one is the Profit Scoop tool that we're working on that'll help you utilize the Google search hacks to make money. That's right, you can come over here, choose the hack type you want to use, like maybe you wanna look for stocks, and you can say something like Tesla versus Amazon. And this is actually gonna do the search for you with the hack included, so it's gonna give you specific information. And it works on literally all the different hacks, so you don't need to memorize anything or remember the little hack or the code or whatever it is. We can actually go through, look at all in title, Tesla versus Amazon, and it'll show you just the sites that are comparing Tesla versus Amazon. Or you can utilize site colon and type in the site you want to use reddit.com music promotion and this is going to show you all the reddit sites with music promotion that's free tool number one we're going to have that available at downloadmynotes.com along with the notes and links from this video and the entire list you can print out as you guessed it a PDF. The second free giveaway is a Wednesday special live stream here on the channel. That's right, here on my YouTube channel, we are going to go live on Wednesday at 12 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, just like we do every week. However, this week, we're going to dive into this specific search strategy to show you how to make money searching Google. So if you're excited about that and want to be part of the live stream, smash a like button, subscribe, and I'll see you Wednesday. Now, back to our show. But Amazon and Google primarily make their money by, wait a minute, helping people find what they're looking for. And in the beginning, we talked about some other sites like Google Docs where people are saying you can just upload PDFs and make money. And while that is true, you're probably not going to make as much as they're saying using the method they're touting. But there is a better way. And we can use websites like Google Docs, Google Sites, SlideShare, and other free websites to put our categorized information on and get paid tons of money. Let me give you a very simple example. Right here, if we were to look up websites to promote, in our favorite keyword tool, Ahrefs, we're gonna see websites to promote OnlyFans, YouTube, business, business, and how to promote music. Promote music. And we could see here, lots of people looking for how to promote your music. And if I was to search Google for best websites to promote music, I would see that there's lots and lots of different results for 17, read it with tons of results, and on and on we go. Heck, it even lists Fiverr and Upwork. Yeah, those are hardly sites to promote your music if you're an artist. However, if I was to use one of the little hacks I showed you earlier, all in title, promote your music, I can see all the different websites that have a link to promote your music. I can also use tools like ChatGPT or any other AI to say, tell me the top websites to promote music as an artist that are free. This is going to isolate just the top ones that are free that allow people to promote their music. And since we know that lots of people are looking this up, music promotion, music promotion services, Apple music promotion, and on and on we go, we know there's lots of money here. In fact, if we were to use SpyFu, which tells us the estimates of what advertisers are paying for certain keywords, we can see that this one is getting 
about $2.46 per click. But that's not all. There's other things that we can put in front of them that'll help us make a lot more money, like web hosting, SEO services, full service ad agencies, social media shout outs, influencer marketing tips, and pretty much anything that'll promote a new band. And all I would need to do is create a little document on PDF or Word or whatever it is, put it on something like SlideShare, my own blog, maybe make a video about it, put it on Google Docs, and point to things that make me money. And if you're doing blogging, it's actually very simple. You, li you literally copy and paste a code on and get paid when people click on ads. More about that in an upcoming video. Or, like the example we talked about earlier for the garage door openers, we can see here thousands of people each and every month searching for garage door prices and different things like that. And if you wanted to make money doing something like this, you can make a little list just like this in ChatGPT, only this time we're going to do it about local services. What are the top requested local house services in Orlando, Florida. This is gonna find me the top services in Orlando, Florida. This is super important, pay close attention. It ain't gonna cost you a dime and you can make tons of money. And we could see here that AI is going to work finding the top requested services for homeowners in Orlando, Florida. Then what we're gonna do is say, now please provide the sample services and prices in the Orlando area. Enter. This is gonna go through and find the prices of each of these services, and we can make a little guide on how to not get ripped off on homeowner services in Orlando, Florida. I can then take this and post it on sites like Facebook groups, different directories and forums in the Orlando area, sites like Nextdoor, and whatever it is. And all we're doing is trying to help people out. And to show you the power of this, let's have a little story. A couple days ago, the day before Thanksgiving, my wife and I needed to repair our garage door. It wasn't working properly, and so we called someone up that could come out right away because it was getting close to a holiday. This guy comes out and quotes us like $2,500 to repair the springs and the motor. And I knew, hey, wait a minute, isn't this supposed to be like $1,000 or less? And on doing some research on Google, I found that it actually was like $700 for the same job he was quoting $2,500 for. And last I checked, the garage door opener wasn't made by Rolls Royce and it wasn't diamond studded. So quite frankly, this guy was just trying to rip us off. And with inflation on the rise, I'm sure you guys have seen cases like this where people are overcharging for literally anything and everything. And it gets kind of frustrating. So if you had a guide like this one we're creating here that showed the top services and what you would expect to pay, well then this would be something very valuable in the marketplace. And this is something we can do very easy. What are the most common garage door repairs and costs in Orlando, Florida? This is gonna go through and tell us all the different things. We can fact check it and look up the different products and prices and how much it costs to install them and everything like that in effort to help people not get ripped off by some local people who are less than honest about their pricing. Then when you think about the fact that we can do this all over the country with all the different cities, this can become a huge, huge moneymaker. In fact, if we were to go over here and take a look at garage door repair, we can see using SpyFu that it's fetching almost $14 a click. And not only that, but over here on OfferVault, we can see that all different kinds of garage door companies are paying as much as $18 for a little 90 second call about garage door repair. And since ChatGPT is going to work and finding us all the costs, all we're doing is being a helpful person trying to show them the costs in a local area so that they can save money and not get taken to the cleaners. And we could see here, it's actually doing the work, showing all the different parts and different things like that. And all I would need to do is use ChatGPT, a little bit of my own ability to search Google, find the prices and help people out so they don't get ripped off. And when it comes to promoting this kind of stuff, the sky is literally the limit and we can make lots of money. 
In fact, when you take a look at all the different things people search for on Google, like VIN numbers, reverse image search, flight tracking, packaging, word definitions, legal cases, patent searches, real estate searches, and on and on we go, you can see that the sky is literally the limit. And our job is going to be compiling information that is specific and categorizing it in a way that's going to help people. Whether it's the top 50 websites to promote your band, or how to not get ripped off on your garage door, you can get paid in a super simple way. And here is how you're gonna get paid. The first method, which is the easiest one, is going to be put your PDFs on different websites and link them to the stuff that pays you. These are gonna be the offers found on OfferVault and other affiliate networks such as ClickBank, Digistore24, JVZoo, and more. And it doesn't just work for local services and things like that. You can even have the top software used for realtors or removing backgrounds from images or AI or whatever it is. You simply create your PDF and point to the affiliate offers that make you money. The affiliate network will give you a link and when that link is clicked, you get paid. Number two is to create on-platform content. This is where you're gonna create a video on YouTube talking about how to not get ripped off on a garage door and YouTube is gonna pay you for the ads that run during your video. Or you can post on something like Medium where Medium shares some of the revenue with you. Or any other platform that you can use. Even Amazon has an influencer platform where you can compile different products, maybe beauty products or best cameras or whatever it is and share them with people on Amazon and get paid when people buy them, yep, on Amazon. The third way to make money, which is one of the most powerful ways, is to create your own website. Creating your own website might sound daunting and difficult. However, you could probably set one up before you go to bed tonight. It's actually very easy. We have instructions over at gohubsite.com where you can create a bunch of websites for as little as $100 a year for all of them. So you could do all the examples in this video and yep, it's still just like $100 a year. And creating your own website, what I would do is create a website around maybe Orlando services or whatever your city is services and try to do a really good job to help people not get ripped off in that local area. Or if you're doing the band example, maybe you're gonna talk about the different band promotion websites, software, services. And again, you could promote different things that pay lots of money. For example, if someone's going to promote their band, yeah, they should probably have a website. You can get paid anywhere from $60 to $300 when someone gets a web hosting. And since all these people need it, it's going to be an easy sell. And not only that, but if you have your own website, you can put ads on your blog automatically using a script. And when people click those ads like these ones here for garage door repair, you can make tons of money. And you can see here that the amount they're paying locally is even more money. And all I would need to do is a really good job of talking about garage door repair in Orlando, how to not get ripped off, what the prices should be, what the different things to fix are, what the options are, how much the products cost, and really do a good job and I can actually make some substantial money when done correctly. As we can see here, over 1,700 people a month are searching for this. And much like me, they don't want to get ripped off by some guy touting prices that he pulled out of his... Yeah, you get the idea. But we can see here all the different things people are searching for, from VIN numbers to find out prices on cars and different stuff like that, to local businesses and on and on we go. And if you're interested in learning more about how this business works, smash that like button and subscribe because on Wednesday, I'm going to dive in detail and show you exactly how to make money with Google search.